Well, hey, good evening. Welcome back to my little gardening show. Tonight I wanted to take you along with me. I'm setting up a little experiment um, with my wooden trays. I'm trying to make a wicking tray. So we'll see if um, we'll see if I'm successful. So um, let's take a look. So here's the grand experiment. My uh, wife had some batting left over, some uh, quilters batting, 80% cotton, 20% polyester. Had a roll of this left over. It's about an eighth of an inch thick. And uh, so what I did was I spread it out on the table here, set my grow tray on top of it, and then just cut a pattern so that I had enough to drape over, you know, fill the tray and then have uh, an end draping off the side pretty good. Just using stuff I have on hand, I got a little crate that I set the tray on for this little experiment. Um, after I had the batting, what I did was I kind of wetted it down so it would kind of rest in the tray and then um, it just real lightly and then started putting my grow mix in here using my uh, one of my worm bin 360 trays to sift through the uh, grow mix remove the bigger chunks and now that it's filled what I'm going to do I got a little cooler here I'm just going to drape the end of this kind of water it up and Bring this closer. Drape this in the water, kind of submerge it. So I don't know it's going to be interesting. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Yeah, I want to see if it's going to wick up through uh, through the batting. And if it does, then uh, I'm good to go. I've got a tray that I can bottom water by setting up a little container like that. So we'll see. I'm going to leave this uh, overnight. Let it sit overnight and then uh, tomorrow I'll come down and just feel the fabric and see if the water through uh, capillary action came up through the batting and into the tray. If it doesn't work then I'll probably uh, see, you know, go online and see if there's you know some specialized material or, or something I can get that would accomplish what I'm wanting to do. Uh, the advantages to bottom watering are numerous. And, uh, you know, one, you don't have to worry about watering everything every day. Two, the uh, the plants are going to draw up the moisture as they need it. And uh, you, you cut down on a lot of uh, diseases that could result by, you know, watering things you don't have to worry about things getting too damp so uh, anyway we want to get that set up and going because I really want to get these seedlings separated I and mean, they're at a point now where they're going to be really competing against each other if I don't with the true leaves coming out here and so now's the time to separate them I don't have to do it all you know in one day so uh, what I'm probably going to do is just do it by variety, do a row or two a day with the goal of having it done by this weekend. And uh, at the end of it, I should have roughly doubled uh, the amount of plants that I'll have in these varieties here, you know, that I can either use in the garden or give away to friends. So it's going to work out pretty good, I think.
So we'll see. We'll let it soak overnight, see if it works. Um, I guess that's it for now. Until next time, happy gardening. Bye.